Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. Before we start today's reading, I just want to inform everyone that there is a new design in my tea public shop and I also started offering fabrics in my Kofi shop. I have added the autumn collection, the Halloween collection, as well as a vampire collection. So if you do arts and crafts where you use fabric or if you are a cosplayer that creates your own cosplaying, uh, costumes or if you just generally create clothing, costumes, corsets, whatever it is, um, you can go and check out my shop and my Kofi. Now for the reading. So today's reading is about what you can expect in the month of October. So remember that you can choose uh, one of these three options. We have the witch's hat, we have the cat for group two and group three is the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern. So whichever one caught your eye first or if there are multiple ones that you sort of gravitate to, go to the timestamps in the description box below and it will take you to your reading. You can also listen to all of them if you want while you're working on something just in case there's a message within each because sometimes they do connect with each other. So it's up to you and what you gravitate to, what you naturally feel. Okay, so let's get into the reading and I'll see you there. Hello group one and welcome to your reading. So you chose the witch's hat. So what can you expect in the month of October? You gotta balance yourself with direction, growth, life stages. Uh, open to love, relationships, passion, fulfillment. Go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. So, so far with these three cards, you're the only group that had this deck come out with three cards. It popped out on their own. So in the month of October so far, what this deck is telling you is that October for you will be a little more relaxed and balanced than things have been before. So it could also be informing you and reminding you that you do need to take some time to balance and to relax because the best way and the best time to manifest anything in your life is when you're fully relaxed right? Desperation only um, attracts more desperation. So it's only when you're fully relaxed and in a stable state of mind that you can attract the things you want to yourself, right? Think about when people are in a high intense situation, for example, um, when there's a fire in the building, right? If everybody starts to panic and run for the exits, people are going to trample each other. A lot more deaths can occur this way. But if everyone is calm and they go out in a straight line and, you know, then more gets done, more people survive, right? So that's what happens within the manifestation stage as well. When you are totally calm, relaxed, and you plant that seed of what it is you want and you work on it, you know, and then you let it go because you can't control anything else, right? You worked on what it is you want and it's all you can do. So then you leave the rest to fate, to universe, to God, the source, whatever, to do the rest for you, right? So October for you will be that time when you need to let go of the control, when you start to feel more balanced or when you work on that balance, right? When you, when you maybe spend more time um, outdoors in nature or maybe camping or maybe, you know, barbecuing or just things that sort of mellow you out, especially with that nice crisp air and you know spooky season around the corner it feels a lot more relaxed right it's not that high intense energy as summer brings with that you know heated sun and um, 
boost of energy and intensity. Things are just a lot more calmer now, right? The temperature has dropped. You're a lot more relaxed. So this is the energy that is coming to you. And being open to love here doesn't, like for those who aren't looking for um, a romantic partnership and stuff, it could mean just being more open to loving yourself, right? Being more um, kind to yourself and what it is you need. Your body will always tell you what you need, right? So if you're feeling sleepy, take a nap. If you're feeling like you just want to get cozy and watch a movie and, you know, munch on some snacks, do that, right? Your energy, your spirit, your soul is going to always tell you what it is you need in that moment. So you need to trust that. And the more you trust it, the more you act on it and do what that feeling inside tells you to do, the stronger it'll get. Okay, you just need to know to differentiate between um, like your own feelings and the actual soul self. Because you don't want to be lazy and not do the work you need to do in your daily life, right? So differentiate between the two. But it's just that October is going to just be a little more, you know, flowy and more chill and relaxed than the previous months have been. You got familiar spirit. So this could be um, maybe uh, spending more time with those that you feel close to, right? Not just familiar to you, but a familiar spirit in Wicca is usually represented by an animal, right? You're familiar. Um, the church usually um, relates cats to witches, right? Especially black cats, but just cats in general. And interesting fact is that during the time of, I believe it was the Black Plague? I know it was some type of plague. I can't remember which one it was. The reason why majority, like I'm, I think it was either half or over half of Europe died because of this plague, it was because of the church. Because during that time, it was rats that spread the disease. And the church were killing off cats because they thought they were, you know, demonic and a uh, witch's familiar. So they were killing off the very species that would have killed off the rats, therefore preventing human deaths. So it was because of the church that so many people in Europe have died. But this could, this card with the familiar spirit could mean different things for different people. It could be um, spending more time with the people you love, the people you actually want to surround yourself with, right? So it could be maybe having picnics with um, your siblings or your family or your friends or maybe having movie marathons, right? So just different things or just going on hikes together or to the movies or seeing a Broadway production or whatever it is, right? It could also mean for others to spend more time with your pets, right? Maybe you've been too busy during the summer by spending it, you know, doing summer things and you've maybe been neglecting going on longer walks with your dog. Right, so spend more time with your furry friends and, you know, make, give them special memories because they don't live as long as we do. So make their time here on this plane of existence more enjoyable so that they have fun memories with you, so that they bond with you more. And it could also mean your familiar spirit being in tune with your higher self, with Source or Christ Consciousness or whatever you want to call it. The way you can do this is finding a middle ground between you and Consciousness. So the middle ground could be spending time in nature, spending time with animals, um, just observing nature, just sitting down somewhere, right, or meditating finding that middle ground because the familiar is a middle ground between the witch and um, spirit or that higher source of where they get 
their abilities or their intuition from, right? So you, that familiar spirit is that middle ground. So connect to that middle ground, something that is between you and Creator God. Okay, whatever that means for you. It'll mean it'll come as different things to different people, right? Like I said, meditation, nature, you know, everything that is natural, that isn't synthetic, that isn't man-made, everything that is created by the true prime source creator. You need to connect with that thing. Because that will balance you out even more. Right? It'll humble you down. Being connected with spirit is letting go of the ego, quieting that ego down in order in order to humble yourself and connect to that divine space. So something you need to heal during the time of October is sexuality. So this could mean as the way you view sexuality, uh, maybe something you have been through um, a trauma regarding sexuality, it's something you need to start healing within yourself, especially if October brings you that sort of balance and peace. It's the perfect time to focus on this and think of what does sexuality mean to you specifically. Now what the media says, now what the, con um, the expectation is or whatever, what does sexuality mean to you? And then a question, how would um, how would sexuality look like to you in a healthy sense, right? What does healthy sexuality look like to you personally, right? Start to ask yourself these questions in order to know what it is you want for yourself, how it is you want to view this in a healthy way, right? Not regarding what entertainment industry has portrayed it as not something that you have experienced or what your partner wants but how would a healthy sexuality look like to you personally what are you fully comfortable with and what it is that you need to heal are you not comfortable with something like touch why not where does that stem from right you need to look deep down in order to fully understand why you view it this specific way, where did that originate from, and how can you heal this? And it's interesting that you have the sexuality cards and being open to love. If this is something um, personal, maybe it is something that you need to heal on a personal level because you won't be able to move on and have healthy relationships if there are things that are blocking that. For others, if there isn't, let's say, any trauma there, but you just are maybe career-oriented and you know not in that romantic relationship sphere, it could be saying that in October maybe you need to open yourself up to the idea of love, of sexuality. And sexuality doesn't just mean sex in general, but just, like a lot of people have the misconception of sexuality meaning lust and perversion, right? But we're talking about like divine sensuality. Okay, so being open to that. So the message for you for October is idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Like every message here within these different decks is telling you to truly spend more time balancing yourself out in nature. Right? Even with this go with the flow card here. Let go. Rest. Manifest. Right? Let go. Spending time on the grass, being with a familiar, and here it even shows being out in nature. So everything is pointing you to being, to being more present in nature, to, being, um, to spending more time in the natural world and not in the concrete jungle. Right? So let's see what your tarot has to say.
Okay, so group one. In October, you're being asked to go with the flow in order to manifest the things you want. This change or shift that has uh, happened recently for you, um, there was a period of time, either recently or within the past few years, where things felt like like a change was occurring or has changed your life has changed in some way than it ha it was before right maybe during the time of corona or the quarantine maybe things just shifted but during this time now things are sort of picking up for you where there are things that you will have to learn there are things that you will have to study to improve on um, whether it's within your business or your education or just any aspect of your life there are things that you will have to improve on but you have to do it not in a way where you're desperate there's this mental energy here where you have to be calm and balanced within yourself because it is the only way you are going to achieve whatever it is you want to manifest or that you're trying to work on rushing being desperate for that thing or like forcing it to happen is not going to get you there and it's going to be a lot more harder because you're going to waste time effort energy resources and nothing will come out of it Okay, so in order for whatever it is you want to achieve or manifest to actually happen, you need to do it in a calm state of manner. Okay, the, because there is, like you will get there. And you can't think that just because you're, you're calm about it and you're taking it step by step that it's going to take forever. No, because you have no idea what is happening behind the scenes. Because while you're chilled out, while you're balanced and going with the flow and just working on your craft or business or whatever it is, um, things are going on in the background where because you're calm about it, some random opportunity can come your way where things will just shift, where suddenly, you know, it could feel like it happens overnight but what you shouldn't be doing is stressing about it because it's like a part of you feels like there's there's an opportunity like not an opportunity but there is this it feels like abundance is right around the corner but then a part of you is feeling this insomnia or stress about it or anxiety because it's still not there you're still not getting it but you shouldn't worry, okay? Below the deck here, you have the King of Pentacles. So this thing is yours. But you just need to connect to it in the right state of mind. Okay? Like I said before with the analogy of, um, of the whole, you know, fire in the building and people rushing and stuff. You won't get anything done if you are stressing about it, if you're worried about it, if you have doubts, or if you, if you um, are trying to force it, if you are desperate for it, it will not get you anywhere. Look at even all the people that took um, the road where you get fast money, eventually, whether it's sooner or later, eventually it fails, it breaks down. Even people that that win the lottery, right? They go from barely making it to suddenly they're millionaires. And within like a short amount of time, maybe it's within a year or two, whatever, suddenly they're poor again. Why? Because they didn't take the time to be calm about it, to relax about it, to invest on something that will bring, that will generate them more money. No, they went you know, spending their money on big houses, fancy cars, clothes, uh, whining and dining, all these things, and before they know it, they have nothing again. So you can't make it with an intense state of mind where you're rushing and going, you know, 100 kilometers per hour. You need to balance yourself out. 
You need to humble yourself, be open to love, go with the flow, and things will happen naturally. Okay, so let's see. We're going to pull out some charms for you. So you have the starfish. Now the starfish is a beautiful, beautiful um, message. Starfishes can grow back any one of their, I don't know what you call them, limbs, if they're being cut off. And the part that is cut off will create a new starfish, right? So this is telling you that you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't stress about it because you can pull yourself out of any situation you will be okay. If no one has ever told you or comforted you, I'm telling you now, everything will be okay. You are being looked after. You have an army of ancestors, of guardians, of protectors, and even the Creator itself has your back. All you need to do is have your own back. Trust in yourself that you can do it. Look back in, into history. We had so many wars, bloodshed, plagues, witch hunts, all these things, and we're still here. Our species is still here. Okay, so you are resilient. You can do this. You can pull yourself out of any situation, so you don't need to stress about it. You don't need to have anxiety about it. Just go with the flow. Breathe. Okay, you should do breathing exercises. You can find um, uh, guides and stuff on them on YouTube for free. But just do breathing exercises to calm yourself down. Okay? Uh, you have... Believe. Believe in yourself. Okay? Now these two... Yeah, they are different. Okay, so these two can go either way, right? Because they aren't on a specific side and each side has a different word. So here we have when and we have hug. Okay? Know when to hug yourself. Know when to comfort yourself. Ask someone if you need it. Tell them, you know, can I have a hug? I, I really need it right now. And if you don't have anyone, hug yourself. Comfort yourself. Wrap yourself up in a blanket. Put on a movie that really soothes you or even music whatever it is that really makes you feel you know that comfy feeling and just d breathe deeply and slowly and tell yourself that you love yourself that you're enough for yourself that you deserve love and that you deserve more in this life okay comfort yourself learn when to comfort yourself the other one we have is beauty and secret so secretly, you have an inner beauty, okay? Secret is something that not everyone knows, right? So maybe you have forgotten yourself that you are beautiful. Maybe you have forgotten that you do matter. That there are people, whether they're on this side or the other side, that do love you, people and beings that do care for you, that watch over you every single day. And in this plane, in this reality, there are people that think about you every now and then that you aren't even aware of. People that maybe you haven't seen or heard of for years. And sometimes you come across their mind and they wonder, you know, how's your life going? And what happened to you, you know? What you've been up to? How how does your life look like right now? You know, whether they were classmates or childhood friends or or past, um, you know, lovers or um, family that maybe you have lost touch with. So you, you have to know that that deep down you are a beautiful person. And maybe you have made mistakes in your life, and maybe you can't go back and, you know, undo them. But you can't 
be stuck in that state of mind. You need to move forward. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself and you need to heal whatever the wounds are within you because our world is shifting into a totally different energy and we need people that are healed and that will help others and that will create beautiful inventions and amazing wonders on this planet but we can't do that if we're still traumatized, if we're still hurting, if we're still in pain so remember that you are beautiful okay no matter what other people tell you so group one that is all I have for you remember to check out my Kofi page you can leave a tip there you can become a member I recently changed the memberships and what I offer there to make it more easier on myself because before there were so much things that I added to it and there was no way I could you know do that monthly so there are perks like getting a free um, art print seasonally you can um, get insights and guidance if you need it within your life um, there are free monthly personal readings um, discounts and all kinds of amazing things so you can check that out you can also shop there I have stainless steel tumblers I have the new fabrics that I added if you are a crafter or I don't know, fashion designer or a cosplay costume designer whatever it is um, there are just a lot of things that you can check out over there other links will be down below in the description box so I hope you have an amazing October get ready for spooky season if you celebrate it and I will see you next time hello group one and welcome to your reading so let us see what you can expect in October we got teach and share instill instruct educate we got the law of three what you should expect or heal we got dreams and your message here is reconnect secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods now it's interesting because secrets and dark woods and stuff reminds me of dreams right when we dream we are within a world that we do not understand that we don't know of and yet it is familiar to our spirit self right because we have died many times we have spent so many so much time on the other side even though time doesn't exist there so October for you feels like a time where either you will be the one that will um, offer a type of service to other people right like education right so whether you are teaching someone something helping them out with something just being a service to someone else or you may receive the help and the education that you need within October maybe you've been trying to seek something out or work on something and it hasn't been going that well because it's like you're missing something and someone or maybe some type of information in some way will come to you during the month of October where suddenly you have that answer that you've been looking for so during this month it is also reminding you it is reminding you that whatever you put out into the world you are getting that times three right so energy matches energy so being a service to other people and helping them out and doing it without expecting anything back but just being a really good neighbor a really good family member um, a really good friend or just a, a really you know decent human being that energy gets sent out into the world and it comes back to you threefold so let's see what your tarot has to say for this
Okay, so you guys, for the month of October, you're being asked to help someone out. Cups are missing here, okay? To be fully um, balanced, we should be seeing all four suits, but we're missing cups. So it feels here that this message is basically telling you that there's this stagnant emotional energy within you, something that feels like you're lacking, or um, your maybe emotions are not balanced, right? But you're being told here that by helping other people, by seeing how happy and how appreciative they get from your service, your help, your education, your teaching to them, it is going to help you balance out your emotions. It's going to help you find purpose in yourself. Because seeing them happy, because you were able to help them, it's going to make you feel elevated. It's going to make you feel better because it's going to instill that worth in you. Because you aren't worth by the things you have or by how someone else treats you, okay? You as a human being, every species on this planet is worthy, okay? And your worth not only comes from being a being, but also by, you know, how you can help other people. How do you contribute into this world? And it's not by monetary thing, monetary things, but it's by who are you as a character? Who are you as a human being? What do you put into this world that the world can feel uplifted because of, you know? October is not a time when your mind is going to need a time to rest. It's going to be a time when you will have to use your mind and um, connect with your dreams. Your mind is going to be very active this coming month, which is good because it could get a lot of ideas. You seem to be spending a lot of time in the physical. You're, you're very rooted in this physical world, okay? So you're going to have to use your mentality, your mind, in order to connect with something higher, right? With the divine. Using that guidance in order to be a service to other people and therefore creating an emotional balance and gratitude within yourself, okay? It, it's all a cycle. This being a service to others and using your thoughts, your words, and your deeds in order to manifest things into your life, right? With, because with the rule of three, like I said, everything you, the ripples out of you will come back to you, right? Imagine if you have a bowl of water, right? That bowl has um, a wall, right? It's circular. That water is contained within that bowl. If you take something and you put it in the side, the middle of that bowl, the water is going to create a ripple effect that will go out, right? But because of the walls of the bowl, it's going to then flow back in, okay? That's how the universe works. Even your thoughts are energy. So even if you help someone, with the intention of getting something back, the universe reads that energy and you're going to get back fake relationships, um, fake friendships, um, people that will want to lie to you because you are lying to yourself or someone else, right? Because you don't have pure intentions. So even if you're lying to other people, even if you're lying to yourself, you cannot ever lie to 
the universe or to the source or God because it can read your intentions. It reads your energy that you pour out of your mind. Remember to do things because you find worth in that other person or that other being or that whatever it is. Right? Because you want to help. You every everyone needs to learn to want to see other people successful. Because in try in helping them, in wanting their success, in turn you are wanting your success. Helping them find theirs, uplifting them, sharing um, their content and commenting on it, and you know doing things that you want them to succeed because you want them to be happy you want every person on this planet to be happy in turn the universe the source god whoever you believe in will reflect that back to you and someone will come along that builds your success up that builds you up as a person so that you find your success as well okay by dividing ourselves, by looking at just our own thing, our own success, you know, me, 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 we are all then in our little individual bubbles. Finding success then feels harder because you just want for yourself. But the thing is, you're sharing an existence with others. And the fact that the real us, the soul us, is cut, still connected, but cut from true source. Generally, we are all that source. So by not wanting someone else's success, you're not wanting your own. Spiritually, we are all one being, one consciousness. Even though we on this plane of existence are living individual lives in order to experience things in different ways and unique ways and you know whether it's traumatic whether it's joyful whether it's sad whether it's ecstatic right it's all an experience for that consciousness so here we have to learn to connect to our inner selves to our spirit selves to help teach others, to help educate others, to be a service to others, whether it's helping someone carrying their groceries home because, you know, they can't, or um, helping someone move, or educating someone on something they may not have known. Don't just call them ignorant or stupid or bigots or whatever. Truly inform them of something that you know to be a fact. And if they don't know how to listen, teach them how. Right? Don't, don't just jump on the bandwagon of just calling people names for stuff. Because their experience in this physical reality is different from yours. And you don't know their path of life and how it went. So don't judge it. Okay? So let us take, oh yeah, and underneath the deck, you have the chariot. So this, this being of service to others will take you places. It's going to give you a choice or a road that you may not have even considered. So it's going to lead you down a path of something that is totally different from what you have been living so far because you're going to find so much worth and purpose in it. So let us take out some charms for you. Okay, so you guys got two pacifiers. So this could be because we haven't gotten anything regarding um, actual births. I mean, you could be giving birth in October or conceiving. But this could mean um, a birth of a new path, a birth of a new uh, way of life, um, birth of new creativity, 
right? Just something that is new, new and fresh, right? Like an energy that you haven't lived through yet. You haven't done something like this, okay? So it could be that. You have the letter E here. So this could be um, maybe some type of E could be for education, right? Or a type of group that you connect with, that you, maybe a group that helps, um, you know, some type of organization that you may join. Or it could be initial, an initial of someone maybe you meet or someone that you need to help, right? So if you know someone with the letter E that is in need of some sort of assistance, Maybe you can help them. Or maybe this will be someone that comes into your life and maybe teaches you about something. Okay. So you got make. You got secret. Oops. You got feel. Learn. Right. So maybe it's not you that will be of service to others. Maybe someone will come in, like I said, to help you learn something. And you got now. So this could be like learn now. Hmm. With this secret, I kind of get the sense, you know, when um, content creators go out and film how they, I don't know, like give a thousand dollars to a poor person or um, surprising like someone at a shopping store with like a gift card or something, right? They're filming this thing for content. But this feels with the secret here, this feels like. Whoever you end up helping, don't broadcast it. Nobody needs to know that you helped someone, okay? Maybe if it comes up about something, you know, and then you just inform them like, yeah, you know, this happened the other day or whatever. But don't you don't have to broadcast it because then you're doing it for approval or for someone to say, oh, you're an amazing person or, you know, things like that. And then it sort of cheapens the thing you've actually done, okay? People don't need to know. Just help whoever needs the help and just be a decent person and that's that. So that is all I have for you guys for this reading. Remember to check out my Ko-fi page. You can support me there by leaving a tip. I'm trying to raise money for um, an actual desk I can read on. You can also, also become a member. I've changed the membership tiers and um, the perks and benefits you can get there. You can also shop, like I said in the beginning of the intro, um, I have added fabrics, so if you are a crafter, or if you make your own clothes or costumes, whether it's for Halloween or cosplay or whatever, I've added fabrics now to my shop, and I also have stainless steel tumblers that are in autumn Halloween oriented um, designs. Yeah, so you can leave a tip, become a member, shop, and also get personal tarot readings as they will be a lot more personalized for you specifically, right? Because these are just general and it may or may not, you know, hit the mark on certain things. But a personal reading will be specifically for you. So all of those links and stuff will be in the description box below. Check them out. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for your, you know, support by watching my videos and commenting or liking or whatever. And I will see you guys next time. Hello group 3 and welcome to your reading. So, let's see what October has in store for you. You got to be an open channel, mediumship, ancestors, spirits. You got the Old Ones, again, an Ancestral and Spirit type of card. What you need to heal, Temptation. And your message is Patience. Everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. So remember that everything in nature, no matter what it is, there is no hurry, there is no forcing it, right? Everything happens. Go, go in a forest and just observe it, right? You'll see squirrels just squir um, scurrying about, um, birds chirping and flying around, 
you know, there's grass, there's foliage, there's food for these animals. Everything just is. It's so natural. It's flowing. There's no pressure. There's no intensity, right? So that's how your life needs to reflect, right? Just being patient and moving along with how nature intended things to move. This is why cities aren't natural for us to live in. Our most natural state of living is in a community, in nature, right? And what's interesting is that when floods occur in concrete jungles, basically cities with like barely any grass, uh, soil and things like that, it is a lot, um, it takes longer for the water to, to disappear because there's no other place for the water to go. While in nature, the water can disappear quicker because it can go into the ground, right? That's why we need more nature even within cities. Also, in more rural and nature type of community areas, like countrysides and stuff, and little towns and stuff like that, there's less crimes because people know each other. There, people are more helpful. There's a more slower and laid-back way of life. There isn't that rush and, you know, that rat race and rushing through life and having to go to work, going home, barely having time to actually enjoy life, right? There's nothing of that in smaller communities. And because there's none of that, there's less stress, you're more healthy, you get to grow your own food, right? So cities aren't natural for us. They are damaging to our mental health and our souls and who we truly are. And because of the stress, people, um, people's lives are cut shorter in big cities than they are in smaller towns. Okay, so for you guys, the month of October, you're being called to connect to the spiritual realm, whether it's your ancestors, your spirit guides, um, your higher consciousness, right, the higher you that's in between the source and this physical body, right, there's like a middle ground. It is calling you to be an open channel and to see what messages you get, because sometimes the ideas you get are not your own. They come from a higher source, right? And because October, um, the spooky season that we know, right, like Halloween, it is All Hallows Eve. So November 1st is the day, basically, of the dead. So it is natural for um, because as the days go by, right, the veil gets thinner and thinner. So for you guys, it's natural that you may feel that connection with those that have passed on, right, to the other realm. And you have to learn to be an open channel in case messages come through, in case, you know, your intuition tells you something like through a feeling of sorts, right? And it's possible that for some of you, maybe your ancestors or someone who has recently passed away from your life, and when I say recent, it doesn't have to be days or weeks or months, it could be the recent few years, right? Because time doesn't exist on their plane of existence. It just exists on ours. So for them, what for us, what is 10 years for them could just be a blink of an eye, right? So. In this recent time that someone has passed, maybe they want to send you a message or they want to reconnect with you in some way to inform you of something. Maybe they're seeing that you're heading down a disastrous path or um, maybe they want to help you with some advice or guidance of some sorts. Okay, so it's just interesting that you have two cards that basically talk about the spirits and ancestors. And with this temptation card, something you need to heal is the temptation of the physical world. 
So you may be distracting yourself with entertainment and uh, constant scrolling and social media, uh, video games, even porn or you know sexual activities, adult content, or you being sexually active too much or whatever it is. You're spending too much time in the physical temptations while the astral and spiritual realm are trying to reach you for something greater. Okay, maybe you have the potential to be something so much greater, but you're spending too much time distracting yourself in this physical realm. So October here, maybe if this is something that you can expect, don't, um, don't shy away from it. If opportunities come to you where you feel that these spiritual things are walking into your life, right? So maybe um, seeing a flyer for some spiritual event or, or your, your eyes being caught by some spiritual shop, right? Maybe you pass this shop a million times and suddenly this one day your eye sort of gravitates to it and, you know, you bring your attention to it, right? So don't just pass by again, walk into it, see what is it that's calling you inside the shop, right? Go through it, walk, see what energy you feel, what, what you're being gravitated towards. That is how you find your true spirituality. Okay, it's not listening to other people or seeing what they're doing and doing it too. Just because someone is spiritual and collects um, crystals and does tarot and cleanses their you know, house a certain way, doesn't mean that's how spirituality looks like. That's how it looks like for them. And maybe even their posers, maybe they have copied what other people are doing. You have to find what you gravitated to naturally. What calls to you naturally. So even if, let's say, you like a certain type of crystal doesn't mean you have to collect crystals. Maybe you just are gravitated to the energy of that one specific one. And maybe it's because you're in that specific phase of your life where that crystal is attracting you because it helps you with that certain phase of your life. right? Because crystals carry different energies. That's why we know certain crystals to be for um, love or for cleansing or for... Um, protecting you from like um, certain frequencies or something like that, right? Every sort of crystal has its own energy. And maybe you're gravitating to that specific one because you're in need of it in that phase of your life. Eventually, maybe you'll gravitate to another one when that phase sort of uh, ends, right? So do what naturally calls to you. Don't look at what other people are doing or collecting or saying, even prayers. If you are praying and those words don't mean much to you, if you can't feel those words and that prayer isn't for you, create your own prayer. You can create a little rhyme, like a chant of sorts, and put energy into it because it is yours, it is personal. Okay, That's how you create your own spirituality. Because by following what other people are doing, that just becomes a new religion. Spirituality is personal. It is the way you live your life. And you're not going to live it by being an exact copy of someone else. Okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, so you guys got some interesting cards here. So what I am seeing, what I'm seeing here is that 
by stopping the distraction of this physical world and truly getting into your spirituality, truly focusing on what your body is telling you, what you're feeling deep inside when you move through your life, right? What is calling to you naturally? What are you being called for, okay? You are going to have so much more opportunities that may lead you to travel to new areas that, that help you move to maybe a better position in your life or a better home or a better environment, a better city or town or whatever it is, okay? And the interesting thing here is that this, all of these cards and as the one at the bottom of the deck as well, all of them represent not only choices and decisions but the different paths that you have, okay? And these different paths are going to bring you to different outcomes, okay? So by distracting yourself in this life, you're going to live a mundane life where only what you see is what you get. There's nothing else beyond it. And you're going to just live the same type of life that everyone else has lived currently and before you and possibly even after you. Okay, it's going to be mundane. It's going to just feel like the same old thing and nothing special will be about it. But then there's this different path. This sort of lesser known path. And even if many people are walking this path, every single person's experience is going to be different. Okay? It's like saying, what's the point of coming into a human life? We're just going to die at the end. Yeah, but that journey in the middle of birth and death is the interesting part, right? So the same with spirituality. Yes, there are spiritual people all around the world, thousands, millions of them, but not a single person's spiritual, spiritual experience is going to be the same. So even if there are countless of tarot readers out there, all our experience are going to be different. The way we read is going to be different. The way we interpret is going to be different. The type of cards we use are going to be different. And even the vibe, the type of help, you know, all of it is going to be different. By following this other path, even because it's just, right, two choices, the mundane or the spiritual. And let's say you choose that spiritual path, right? Within that spiritual path is going to be a billion of other different paths. Okay? Way more than if you chose the mundane path, because there are only a few other choices within that mundane path. But the spiritual carries a shit ton more because it's going to be so personalized for you. Okay? It's going to bring you a type of wealth that you have not imagined for yourself. It's going to bring you into a deeper state of consciousness, a deeper state of understanding of not only the spiritual, but of yourself, of how you fit into this weave of spirituality within this world, because everything functions on energy. Everyone thinks that this world functions on the physical, but it doesn't. The physical is only outcome of the energetic. Okay? So everything that we focus on, this is why um, the industry puts so much money into making movies that are about the destruction of our planet, that are about fear and hate and things like that, because the more people put their energy and thoughts on those themes, then our physical world becomes that reality. Okay? So spend your mind, your thoughts, your ideas on things that you want to see in this world. Okay? Spend time watching those type of movies. Spend time listening to those type of songs. And I'm telling you, when you start to embody those ideas, those thoughts, those things, Everyone around you is slowly going to start either removing themselves from you or changing themselves, right? Because dark energy cannot stand being around light energy. Okay, so let us take out some charms for you. Okay, so you got run, play, 
cool sum from. So it feels like um, this is saying have some fun playing around with your type of spirituality, what you gravitate to, right? Have some fun. Um, experiment. See what fits, what feels natural, right? Even if there is a learning curve with something, it should feel like um, like you gravitate towards it, right? That you want to learn this, that you... If something is boring and you're not tuning into it and your mind can't focus on it, it's not for you, right? Maybe it'll, maybe it's just not the time yet, right? Maybe years down the road, maybe that topic is going to come back and you're going to feel the need that you want to learn more. But currently, it's not it, right? So if you feel, um, you know, like it's like it's a drug, right? Like it pulls you in. If you feel something regarding these different spiritual elements turn towards that right look deeper into it learn more about it right whatever feels natural to you make it a part of your life decorate your home you know how they say dress for the job you want okay decorate your home using themes of what you want your life to look at like okay so if you if you love that cottage core witchy vibe decorate your home like that and you know whatever you feel you gravitate towards decorate your environment in that style so that you always feel that vibe okay because it sucks when you're living your life with that ambiance in your head but you don't have it around you because then you aren't inspired. You look around and you see those boring walls, that boring mundane home that just looks like any other home, right? But when you walk into your space and everything is decorated, that sort of vibe of who you want to be, of what attracts you to, you know, to those things, when it's all around you, then it's easier to live in that spiritual aspect. Okay, so spiritual, your spirituality should come, it should start from within and then ripple out of you. So you first need to identify who you are, what it is you like, what it is you want, what you want your life to look like, right? And then from that, start dressing, start... Um, doing your hair so that you then embody that vibe and then start experimenting with turning your environment into that vibe right so that it ripples out of you so be that thing that you want to be and make it natural don't be a poser don't be a wannabe just to look cool just to be different that is that is lacking energy because you're trying to be something you're not. And there's so, so many um, tarot readers and people who claim they're mediums or psychics, even on YouTube, that do this. Where someone who's more naturally inclined in their intuition can see their fakeness. Even if they've never met before, don't know their personality, don't know, but you can tell so easily that they're just trying to be quirky and cool and unique, but they're they're falling into ego and into this fake pretentious personality. Okay, so always, always gravitate to what feels natural and stray away from distractions and temptations of this physical realm because it's distracting you from your true potential. You are more than what this physical world is trying to make you be. Okay, so group three, I hope you enjoy this video. Please, please look into my Kofi shop. You can leave a tip there to support me. I'm trying to raise money for a tarot desk that I really want. Um, you can also become a member. I changed the membership so that there are different perks and benefits for you, whichever tier you join. You can also shop, like I said in the beginning of the intro, in case you didn't listen to it. Um, 
I have added fabric, so in case you do arts and crafts with fabrics, whether you um, create your own clothes, costumes, or cosplay outfits, whatever, I have added those in. So they're fabrics from the Autumn Collection, Halloween Collection, as well as a Vampire Collection. I have stainless steel tumblers on there and more is to come so keep an eye on my Kofi page for all that and as well of course you can get a personal um, intuitive reading for yourself so it's going to be catered specifically to you and not in general you know like these pick a card readings are okay so whether you need some help and guidance for something specific or you just want to see what you should know at this current time you know you can book a reading there and it's very simple it's easy and a lot cheaper than some of these other readers I've seen on this um, platform because it is crazy I've seen someone charge like two hundred dollars for like four card reading which is insane so that is all I have I hope you have an amazing October and remember to stay safe especially during spooky season because you'd never know what kind of weirdos are out there and I'll see you guys next time.